Hello! Is that, is that what you do, eh? I just fight my life, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or hello for the first time. I'm very far away because the camera is cling filmed <laughs> to the window and we can't move it anywhere because it's hovering over the sink. This man you may recognise, his name is Marcus, he's my husband, but you may know him as Count Dankel. Uh, today I am torturing him by making him make lemon muffins with little to no explanation or guidance. So what I've done is I have laid out all the ingredients and all the tools that Marcus may need um, to make these muffins and I'm in the middle of making muffin cases out of paper because this virus means that you can't buy anything to the shops. Uh. So we, we can't buy cases. So if you want to know how to make cases, um, I'll show you that. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's just get started, shall we? Are you buzzing? No. How? It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. We're right. gonna get lemon muffins. Ah, it's fair. Okay. Right, fair enough. Right. I do like muffins. Place of women. You are excited about this. I'm very excited. Cause see when see when I had had that operation and I, I really wanted cookies, and then Twitter forced you to make cookies for me. It was so much fun watching you make them. All right, fair enough. So much fun. Right, what am I doing first? Right, so first off, you need to preheat your oven. So you need to preheat your oven to, here's your options, 200 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees for a fan oven, gas mark 6, or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so which, which one of those applies to our cooker, Marcus? The, those options again. Right, it's no gas. 200 degrees uh, no, Celsius. Wait, no, wait, hold on. It's no gas. Correct. And Fahrenheit's a Yankee thing. Yes. So it's 200 degrees. Okay, so I'll give you those options again. <laughs> but 200 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees if you've got a fan oven. It says right here on it, fan oven. There we go. There Thank you go. All the numbers are white tap. I know, that was your nanny. She washed them off. Is that 180? Well, what is the number that's after that that you can see? There's none, they're all white tabs. There is a, there's a vague number there. Wait, hold on. That says 220, so where is the dial? <laughs> it's on what I believe to be 180. Turn it, I'll leave it left. Can you wait? Like, oh. And it clock right. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just don't want you to burn the muffins, right? Right, right there. That's, that's about right, fucking say that then. Right, so now that the dial is facing 180, you still need to put the oven on. Oh, so do. So you do. Perfect. Okay, so what you're going to do now is combine your dry ingredients into a large bowl. Now your dry ingredients consist of flour, sugar, almonds, baking powder, lemon zest. Right, so I just chuck them all together in a bowl. Yes. Now, before you move forward, you may notice uh -huh. that there is actually a separate bowl there of icing and sugar. Please remove that bowl out of the equation for the moment. This one? Is this icing and sugar? <laughs> really? You're not getting to worry? Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that that's... Hold on, in fact, there's a way to check. That's nice and sugar. Have you washed your hands? Yeah, I washed my hands right before right. it. Okay. So, <laughs> one of those ingredients was lemon zest. Okay. Um, for the lemon zest, um, you'll need to grate the zest of those lemons right in front of you. That's a skill, isn't it? Yes. Now, just do it. I know, I'm just watching you. Right, right okay. No. <laughs> what? Take your plastic gag off it. All right. I thought, <laughs> I thought I thought that was to catch the zest. No, that's what the plate's for. All right. So. So right. So when you're grating lemon zest, there's an act to it. Um, you basically don't want any of the white stuff. You just want the zest. So when you grate it so far, you end up getting the white stuff, and the white stuff's very bitter. Um, the zester that you're holding has a rubber bit at the very, very bottom. See the, the opposite of the eye, so there. And that is designed to lean on the plate <laughs> so that it doesn't slide anywhere. Okay. And the zest falls straight onto the plate. 
you can move it further along the plate so it actually hits the plate if you wish to eat it. Is that a zest? <laughs> that what? is a small amount of zest, yes. Fucking, that's already a big chunk of the lemon. What? Oh my god, Marcus. What? Can I show you? No, you I too? can't show you because that's to pick the purpose. You've got to break things. How am I? What am I meant to do? You, you rub Gently it all. Gently zest it. Like, am I? No. Well, I got a big chunk of the white shite. Right, we'll move around the lemon and continue. Am I? <laughs> it's like I've just took a chunk out of my thumb. Right, it's hazardous, give me it. Give me the lemons. Go, no, go, go no. into your hand, go into your hand, because I don't want blood in my lemons. Took a chunk out of my thumb, great now. You better check and make sure some of my thumb is near that. I did check. I gave it a wee clean as well, don't worry. Right, uh, unless you want blood in your fucking, look at that. Fucking belter. There is a hole in my thumb. So I'm going to need a plaster unless you want bloody muffins. I take plaster and you're like, I don't need a plaster. No, add some iron to them, man, you know what I mean? It's a nightmare. Hey. Right, I'm going to need a plaster. Oh, I need to take that off. Babe, just stop. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Me, I'm never doing this ever again. Right. Squeeze that. Right, okay. Are you mad at me? You're just so frustrating. <laughs> You're like a toddler. No, I'm not. Can you be trusted to squeeze yes, that on there? Yes, yes, Squeeze yes. that on there than I. It's a good job I have you. I love how seriously you take bacon. <laughs> We're two minutes in, mate. Right? I'm not. Right, okay. Shoot. Right, there we go. Sound. Sound right. Phase one. Done. So you're going to do that part there, right? Eh? Yes, but what you can do for now is put this lemon back on the counter. Thank you. Okay. So, you need to take the flour, the sugar, the almonds, the baking powder and put them in a large bowl. Can you be trusted to do that without cutting yourself? Right. So what am I putting in? Flour. This is flour. Now, before you do anything, <laughs> have a look at your, your work swap there. And have a look and think. Aye. Look at all my utensils. <laughs> this, okay. this, okay. <laughs> Giggle to yourself. Because <laughs> I know, I'm, it's like nervous laughter because I know that you're in the back there like silently judging me, judging everything that I, I mean, do. Have I been silent so far? <laughs> no, no, you're no. Not, no, you're not. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> when you look at that flower, did you notice anything about it? It's white. No, the baking powder was already in there. Baking powder's already in it? Yes, I put the baking powder in it when I pre-measured all the stuff for you. Well, how was that meant to notice that? Because it's bright white and it was, there was a so well. Flour. There was a well in the middle of the flour and flour and baking powder were very different. No, they were. In the well, there was a perfect circle of baking powder. It's white powder. No, oh, it's okay. Anyway, I'm just telling you it's in there already in case you go looking for the baking powder, which you wouldn't, but... There we go, served. Served. Right. Smashing. And then... The sugar. Yes. Why are you laughing? No reason. What do you do with all the chunky sugar you're left with? Um, use your fingers and rub it against the sieve. Excuse me. He's just barking at man again. That's rude. Right, that's chunky sugar will only go through. So what is that? I don't know. So that's ground almonds. Um, put your fingers in it and feel it. Do you feel like that's going to be what you served? Aye. Do you feel like you can serve that? Aye. You back then. So there's this nut dust. Serve your nut dust. You alright? Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how frustrated are you? You don't need to serve that. You don't need to? No. How come you need to serve everyone else but not this? Because I thought the idea was no big chunky bits. Well, because almond, um, that's ground almonds, it's not almond flour. It's nut dust. So the ground almonds, you need the stuff that's in it, like there'll be, there'll be higher chunks because it's literally just ground almonds, so, and you want those chunks. Whereas the other stuff is clumps, you don't want the clumps. Right. Plus um, flour, you, you're putting the air in the flour by serving it. And you don't you want your almonds nice and airy? Mm -hmm. Do you not want your nut dust nice and airy hen, no? Right, so I'm just dumping this in then, aye? Yes. 
So. So. So what's next? I don't know. Right. So you put in your flour, your sugar, your almonds, your baking powder, and then you put in your lemon zest. Dump that straight in. The whole thing? Yes. Right. Do I need to scrape the bowl? Yes. Not, not with your fucking sieve, because you need your sieve. <laughs> what What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was just looking for a tool to scrape it. So you picked a sieve? Aye. There's some zesty nut dust. Perfect. Now mix that round until it's still incorporated, please. With this? <laughs> no, I'll mix it with your sieve. I will. Don't. Don't, don't joke about that because I'll fucking do it. I don't know. Right, so I'm just to mix it together. Yes, just until it's all fully incorporated, please. Nut dust incorporated. Why do you hate me? <laughs> no butts, big nuts. <laughs> I don't hate you. This smells lemony as fuck. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, I'm aware there's lemon zest in it, right? I'm just saying it smells lemony as fuck. I'm not that fucking. I'm not that fucking stupid. And by the way, before you ask me, this is not fruit. It's one of your five a day. Yeah, it does. Lemons are fruit. But you're not eating the lemon. Yeah, lemon. Lemons are fruit. Five muffins. That's your five a day. That's right. not how five a day works. Right, shut bitch. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> My thumb hurts. In a separate bowl, you'll need to incorporate your milk, your melted butter. Melted butter. Go get your hair dryer. There's a microwave. Could do that as well, why that works. Mm. Can I have a break? This is tiring. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> We're going to put it in for. Um, 30 second increments until it's fully melted. Take a spoon and give it a wee stir. Are you honestly, you, you literally just had a fag and all you've done is mixed flour and sugar together? And chop my thumb off. Right, nah, well you don't need a cigarette. I do, I've just, I've got PTSD because of a, a serious injury. Marcus, you'll be here all day if you need to take <laughs> cigarette breaks. Right, fine. Making lemon muffins is not a long process. Have some respect for a lot hero. Excuse me? It's still got chunks. Yes, it will do. Um, so you just need to stir it and put it in for another 30 seconds. And you keep doing that until it is fully really done. So what you can't see is Marcus is in this area. Just smoked cigarettes while melting butter. I really don't recommend you do that. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm making muffin cases. Because we don't have muffin cases. Right, I'll just whack this in a bowl. Yes. Right. Uh, and my milk. Yes. And then what else? Your oil. That's oil. Yes. Right. Also, the measurements to all of this and the ingredients to all of this will be in the description below. Um, you know, need to put in your vanilla essence. Your vanilla essence you have to put in Half a teaspoon. What are you doing? It smells like booze. I'm just smelling it. Right. So you need to add lemon juice, two tablespoons of juice. So you would need to get the juice out of those lemons. You cut them in half, aren't you? Yes. Don't look at me like I'm fucking stupid. You know this shit, I don't. Well, how else are you going to get the juice out if you don't cut them? Do you need me to fix the door? Do you need me to fix the window? Do you need me to do fucking house, fucking DIY shit? Do that. You almost said housework and uh, almost regretted it there. Yeah. Housework. Right, so just juice it. Yes. Right. Is that what you do? Yes, perfect. Well done. Oh, mate, yeah, that's. Just mush the fucker. That's fine. Where? I would say that lemon as well and truly just my friend. Sound. Right. What? Are you all Sorry. 
Right, so, did we talk what bit you take off to get access to the juice? So, right then, two tablespoons? Yes. Three, I remember. Babe. What? It's got a wee porter. Shit. <laughs> Right, there you go. There you go. <coughs> yes. Smashing. Do you have a wee bit more? No. I like them dead lemony. It will be dead lemony. Dead, Marcus, dead lemony. Marcus, don't. Stop it. A wee tape. No, because you're going to put lemon juice and tap it too. Hunger day. So now, what you're doing is you're cracking the eggs into the butter lemon mixture the and thing. give them a whisk and see that big bowl of flour? Put it here. There you are, now everyone can see what you're doing. Oh aye. So just for everyone's information, Marcus absolutely hates eggs. Like absolutely hates them. You give him the bulk he does not enjoy. So Um, you're staring at me, fam. Just want to look at him. Is there any shell in it? I don't know, you look. In whisk? Yes. Now, get your big bowl and create um, a wee well in the middle. Now you're going to pour your wet liquid into your dry mixture and you're going to stir it with a wooden spoon and you're going to stir it gently because if you overwork your muffin mix your muffins will be tough. Right. So you're basically mixing until there's no dry lumps anywhere and it's all fully the same consistency but you have to stop as soon as it gets to that. Feels like it's fucking shrank. What do you mean? Like there's less. Because it's because of the fluffy dry ingredients got wet. Alright. Is that alright? Is there any dry lumps anywhere? I don't know. Have you scraped the bottom? <laughs> Another way, see because our bowls are see through, you can always lift it up and look under it. Nah, looks fine. Smashing. So get a spoon to grind that you put this into your cases now. Why not just use this? It's not going to be easy with that. Oh, actually, we do have cases, but they're Christmassy. We just use the Christmas ones. Alright, go for it. Because I've just realised we have these, we'll use some of these and we'll use two of the made ones, and that way people can see what they look like when you make your own. Nothing says festive like uh, Christmas lemon muffins in April. Aye. So, the ones that I've made, obviously, because I've made them, they pop straight back out, but they won't as soon as mixture's in. What you do is, when you're putting this mixture in, just hold the side of it and plonk it in and I'm just going to lean over you. Now you want to fill these three quarters of the way up. Shit stuck to the spoon. You can use your finger or another spoon. I'll use another spoon. I'm not touching this, it's got egg. Fuck. Oosh. Marcus! <laughs> What's your problem? Testosterone. Look, you made a mess of the case now. No, I have not. I'll call it a bit. Ideally, you wouldn't get mixture all the way up the side of your case. Ah, I know. This is not the perfect one. Right. Fuck's sake. Fucking oosh. Right. What? Fucking oosh. Yes. <laughs> and keep in mind, if you keep spraying it everywhere, they're not going to cook evenly. Ah, I know. Like, not evenly on top. I mean, they won't look nice and uniform. They'll just look... That'll be fine. Okay. Muffins look fucked on the top anyway. Hi. They look all fucked. What muffins you been eating? Fucked ones. Yeesh. See? I'm getting good now. Get away. Did you just tell the spoon to get out of the way? Aye. Right. Do you know what? I didn't realise this, this um, process would be as difficult for me. 
Also, Kim Jo, fliegt ja, machst du dir am Stock und so? Oh no. Sometimes you just need to let me make mistakes, otherwise, how else am I going to learn? That's true. Right, we've only got one big dog, so it's all going in this fucking last muffin. That's fine. It doesn't need to all go in there, you can use the wee tiny bits that are left to try and even them all up. One big muffin. One big absolute fucking dire muffin. All that will happen is it will get past the case and go down the side of the case. Like Akira. I feel like an Akira muffin. It's not a reference, I understand. Oh no. Now they now go into the oven. Fucking bone apple tit. <laughs> Why? Because. They now go into the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. 15 to 18? Yes. Now they go in for 15 to 18 minutes because everyone's oven is different. Okay. So I'm going to set you an alarm for 15 minutes. How have you found this experience? Not fun. Really? No, I'm getting on. I find it's it been, really fun. It's been fun more than you. Thanks. This is the messiest that my YouTube videos have ever been. Like all the stuff lying everywhere and it's very incoherent. Yeah, it's number one top stuff. Right, so now that the muffins have to go back in for another three minutes because the cocktails that came out wet, what you're gonna do is you make you make the icing. So take your icing sugar. Ice and sugar and lemon juice, so you use your tablespoon measure. Right. And you need a wee teaspoon to start away. Ideally, you would want a tiny, a tiny whisk, but we don't have any tiny whisks. Okay. So, using the tablespoon measurement, do one tablespoon at a time. So, put one tablespoon in and then mix. Do you this? Yes. Bosh. You give it a wee stir. Because we're not really making an icing, we're more making a glaze. It's going to go on the muffins when they're hot. That seems to be going to do. Now, I'm going to help you with this bit. What we're going to do is just put these on this tin foil. Okay. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to glaze them all while they're hot. With this brush. And I'm just going to do one for you and show you because it won't be funny when you when you mess this bit up if you do. So I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> right. So you're just gonna do your brush lightly and then just start sparingly brushing it on. Because the muffins are hot, it'll melt. But you're just wanting to add a wee bit of extra on top. You know what to like fully ice them and then it's just like a nice wee even brushing. Okay. Especially with these wee dry bits, wee dry edge boys. You alright with that? Mm. They smell really good. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. It's just so weird in their Christmas packets right now. Ah, fuck it, it's fine. Packet's a packet. How have you found this experience? Frustrating. I'm missing a piece of my thumb. I think it's in the cake somewhere. How is it frustrating? No, I cleaned this. I cleaned the grater. My, um, my blood and sweat went into these. Any media and moaning, your fucking tears will go into time. <laughs> but honestly, how have you found this? Because muffins are really easy. Nah, uh, not right. Bacon, bacon's not really my thing. I get to eat muffins though, so. True. So, once you glaze them, you basically leave them to cool. Cool. And then once they're cool, you can eat them. If you can't be arsed with them and cooling, you certainly can eat them hot, but they won't be as good. Right, so that's you, you just need to leave them to cool and then we will sit and we'll eat them and we'll do a wee review of them and then that'll be the end of the video. Cool. Thanks very much. Are you okay? I'm fine, right. You don't seem fine. I just need to go and fight somebody now. Get my man points back. A few moments later. Right, so the muffins are now cool. Shall we try one? Aye. We'll just half it, we're not, not done yet. But, see these cases look alright, don't they? No. Inside looks really fluffy and light, looks beautiful, smells amazing. Smell them, that's your half. It smells so good, man. Aye. Well done. 
Thank you. Mmm. They're really nice. Aye. Yeah. You proud of yourself? Aye. Yeah. You should be. They're delicious. Thank you. Will you make them again? No. Why not? Bacon's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed them with them. I'm not eating anymore because I went to eat my dinner. I enjoyed watching you bake them. I suffered for my art. You did. You got an injury and everything. Well, thanks very much for, for making muffins for me. You are welcome. I'm going to eat the rest of them. You can get the big fat one at the end, but then I'll eat the rest. Nice. Mm. You want to say bye to him today? No. Thank you. Right, well, I'll say bye. Thanks very much <laughs> for coming to my channel and watching us make lemon muffins. If you like. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing or leaving a comment. I read every comment also. But yeah, thanks very much and I'll see you later. Bye!